Good morning, Mr. Buzz. How are we doing? Very well. How are you, Alex? I'm good, sir. I'm good. So, okay. This week, we have a slightly odd one, again, because that's what we like. Um, yes. A film <laughs> called Corsage, which means the corset, obviously. Um, this is a 2021, 2022 film, I would say, um, with uh, Vicky Creeps, uh, it's her name, playing the Empress of Austria in 1878 is the time frame for a year in her life mm. when she hits 40 years old in um, a country that assumes that once you're 40 you're pretty much past yes as a past your sell by date yes. um, yeah and it's uh, it tells that story I, I think it's about a year in her life when she reaches this moment with a history of being the most beautiful person in the country and in a country in the Austrian Hungarian Empire that was ruling over a few countries at the time um, and it was very powerful very impactful and it has been for generations by now um, and the film pretty much focuses on her going between uh, various different properties either in England or in Hungary as, as this prince empress basically and struggling with the fact that all of a sudden her life has become like a little cors corset, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Physically, yeah. she needs to live in it. And metaphorically, her surroundings are like a cage. Um, mm. And that, that's a bit what, what the story is all about. Um, but um, yeah, what did you thought about it, uh, Buzz? Well, um, yeah, yeah, I, um, I think that's a, that's a good summary of it, especially with the with fact that it's um, a very it's a life of luxury and a life of extreme wealth. Um, it Absolutely. is almost like a caged environment for the empress. Uh, you know, she's in a loveless marriage with the yes. with the emperor, um, which is it's really kind of stonewall, kind of callous sort of. Um, love interest they have for each other anymore it's almost non-existent and um, yeah this woman is obviously uh, reaching the end of her kind of career uh, being an empress almost and um, her, you know she's fatiguing in the light of beauty and although in the film she's not is she like, this is this is i think it's almost distracting because the yes. actress is absolutely beautiful yes. but um yes. you know but, but her age keeps being mentioned and um it's it she's obviously feeling like she's not a young woman anymore and um you know even even her even her children uh especially a younger girl who must be about you know what seven Six, eight in a film oh yeah, something yeah, yeah. as young as that is is doubting her like, and they're they're always they're kind of talking to her they're talking down to her as if they are like the the press or or the yes. media of the day you know it's like they're criticizing her presence around other men or you know how she's acting and and the Empress and herself, so, she does seem she does seem to be quite a rebel. She seems to be quite a free absolutely. spirit, wouldn't you say? You know, she al almost a bit of a maverick. Um, she's not like the rest of the characters in the film, which are all a little bit uh, rigid and pompous yeah. and, yeah. and, well, and won't say anything probably, out of the blue. That amplifies yeah. the her her pain basically because it's mm. it's um, it, 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 only I think only one of her servants is the one that she actually relies on and can speak freely o o with. Um, and that's the only person that is not you remember in the carriage there's a scene where she says you're the only person I can speak with and yes. that understands yes. me and um, it's like every and and that's just because it's probably like a what do you call it, a network effect because everybody everybody in society thinks that that's it the the average um, life expectancy for a woman at the time was about 40 years old so it's like that's it mm. this boy this this is the expiration date for a woman. That's yes. what that's what felt like everybody had to think at the time, um, mm. and she's just trying to break that. And and it, and it's a bit it's a bit sad. So it's a bit sad for a couple of reasons. I I, I found is the first of all is the fact that all she's trying to do is be a woman and, and be appreciated as a woman. And there's nothing wrong with that. Anybody's is like that. It's like all she's trying to do is go to her husband and be told that she's still beautiful and she's still loved, she's still being loved and and, and it's just normal. Um, mm. And the other thing is the fact that she actually has to wear that, well, like all the women back in the day, that corset. Because we've seen in the beginning, it just measures the, the, the waist when she puts the corset on and yeah. it's like, what, 35 centimeters or some crazy number like that is yeah. literally... 
and yeah. you have to wear that all day and go out in society and not and not pass out and that just generally presses your it it keeps you in a constant state of pain yes um, and besides the fact that she has this mental pressure that is from her being 40 and no longer the beautiful most beautiful woman in the country she has this yeah. physical pressure also on by the the constraints of society that makes you wear the corset to be looking like a woman yeah, it really is. It really is uh, always quite, quite demeaning, isn't it? You know, it's uh, you li- you're literally being strung up like a piece of meat, aren't you? It's like um, it's like uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, string true, yeah. meat, meat string, isn't it? You know, and they do it on like because they do string stuff. it. It shows you the back how they literally. Yeah, when they put the yeah, like, oh, yeah. They're absolutely, no, they're absolutely brutal. Those things, aren't you? You know, I've, uh, you know, I've actually seen one in real life, and the amount of the amount of hoops that they've got for the for the lace to go through, and uh, the the um, it, it, it's mad, it's, it's like mad. But, but, mad yeah. but yeah, I thought I thought the, the film was quite interesting. It definitely has some good acting in, um, and and um, the scenery in the films are fantastic. You know, it, it's really good. But yeah, I did I did feel like when when watching this, um. I don't know. There's something missing. I don't. I don't think I'd ever describe it as a as a great film, mm. and uh, I can't really quite put my finger on it because you know you've, you've seen period dramas before and yeah. and you've been ranting and raving about them. I just think this this film is lacking something, and I'm not sure what it is really. If it's if you can relate to the characters, but mm. that. You know, I mean, how often are you going to be able to relate to royalty in in the 18th century anyway? But but yeah, yeah, yeah I think. Did, would you agree that there's maybe just something yeah, missing about I mean, this film? Maybe a, 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 an emotional connection, it, maybe it felt, to the characters. It, yes. No. It felt like. Um, well, to me, I. The fact that I wanted her to break free is the fact is because I sort of wanted, like, cared for her to get out of her status and her cage, mental cage, mm. um, and that doesn't deliver. I just felt like, come on, man, don't give up and do something. I don't know what, but do something that will make it make you prove to society that what, how, the way they're looking at you is wrong. Uh, mm. And that never happens. And that's what I felt like. Argh! It could have been, you know, just do something crazy that goes against the societal norms of the time. Yes. And then just literally show people wrong. And then that will obviously instigate the change in society to, because of one person's sacrifice to do something we should look, be looking at this differently. That's, that's how I felt a bit lacking because I was waiting and waiting. And also she's on the verge. She's very, very well acted on the verge of doing something crazy. And I think she's going to do something that is going to be sur- totally surprising and totally literally historic or something like that. That yeah. never happened. But no, you didn't. said no, you you, no. you couldn't relate to, to, you know, her status basically will will justify suffering. Is that what you want to say? Yeah, <laughs> to say? yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it, it, I think for me, yeah, for me, it's one of those ones where clearly she's always on the fringes of her sanity. Um, mm-hmm. It seems that it's, it's quite it's mentioned quite a bit by her children and and, and her yes. husband that she yes. she can't even look after herself, and you can kind of see that. I you know I was almost expecting um, towards the end of the film. Uh, her to do something crazy to herself, so something dangerous, you know, and um, you know, it, it's it, uh, yeah, it, for, for, yeah. I don't know. For me, I just I, I feel like when you're watching people who you know have servants all the time and and people to do anything at a drop of a hat, um, there's always that kind of bad taste in your mouth of okay, I'm meant to feel sorry for this person with their uh, with their uh, splendorous sure. Sure. wealth and stuff yeah. like that. But you know, I I did I did find it interesting and and I won't criticise it too much. But I just I just felt like maybe it was just a missing that kind of emotional connection to the Empress herself, which I just didn't really get at yeah. all. You know, I, I think I think it's... towards the end of the film, I didn't really care what happened to her. You know, and there was yes. no like cathartic ending to it. It was just a little bit of a bit of a left of feeling of oh okay that's that then yeah, great yeah. you know yeah no it's, it's good i mean don't get me wrong it's a very well put together film you know the scenery is mm. awesome there's music that again we've seen this before recently in elvis with contemporary music being played or music that is out of that era being played in the film mm. during the film um and you know the, the buildings are decrypt and look like they're from a, a apocalyptic film because all their houses as as big and massive as they are, they look unkept and untidy, and just reflects the state of where she is. Yeah. Uh, so it's not it's not a bad film. It was nominated for the, the top prize at Cannes um, at the time. So, 
um, but it's just had that last it almost like it didn't have a climate climatic event at yeah. the end of the film yeah go, yeah poof, yeah just something explosive and um but anyway here we go yeah, yeah but no good good anyway recommended to be honest yeah yeah so where did where did you view it uh i, Alex? I saw it on prime video again um, yeah same here yeah rented yeah. rented yeah mm, yeah cool all right sir i shall talk to you next week then yeah take care alex have a good one bye bye bye, bye.